Hello everyone and good evening. Welcome to day 23 of my 30 days of lives. We're down to the last week. So what I'm featuring is Stampin' Up's um, retiring product that will uh, go through April 30th or while supplies last, whichever comes first. Hello Nancy and hello Amanda. So good to see both of you. Um, so tonight, I'm actually casing a card from the mini catalog. Um, I thought everything was carrying over from the mini catalog, or most everything. And um, I did find a bundle that is not, so I'm going to show it. And the good thing is, everything is still available. I'm going to set that catalog. So that is very good. I'm going to get my comments up here. And excuse me if I'm a little bit out of breath. Um, I don't know what's going on. Um, I didn't sleep well last night, I had trouble breathing. And then I had my procedure this morning um, to have that loop recorder um, put in. And um, Let's just say that is not a fun procedure. And even though they say it's really no big deal. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have done it if I knew how bad it hurt. But, and it didn't help that I wasn't numb all the way. So uh, halfway through they had to stop and inject more, what is it, lidocaine to numb me. So it was... It's been a rough day, let's just put it that way. All right, but I'm here with you, and I'm happy because this is my happy place. You know it. All right, so I am going to point you to my work surface so I can show you what we are going to be using tonight. I'm going to make some room here. Okay, let me point you to my work surface and get you all lined up. And we are going to do Notes of Nature. This is the stamp set and the dies. Um, a lot of the dies are missing because we are using them, all these pieces, tonight. The colors we're using are Pebbled Path and Pecan Pie. So we have a half sheet of the pebbled path. We are using the faux leather trim as well, and it has like a gold sparkle in it. Very pretty. So let me just show you. I just went and checked right before I went live. The gold trim is still <coughs> available, $9. The Notes of Nature bundle is still available for $46.75. That's a 10% savings. But let me look here. The dies are actually a 20% savings. So you'd get them for $22.40 and then the stamp set is $24. So it would be cheaper to buy the stamp set and the dies separately. Okay. And then the Natures of Sweetness DSP is also available. All right. Let me set that aside. Get back to my comments. Awesome. Hello, Nancy from Frankfurt. And hello, Sue. Oh, you guys, I love you. Oh, such a good group already. And it's and we're just starting. So that is awesome. So today was a beautiful day. It got cloudy this afternoon, but the sun's back out now. And it's awesome. And it's uh, 54 degrees. All right. So my half sheet of pebble path is five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter, which is right down the middle. I'm just going to burnish that. If nothing else, you guys are going to know how to do a card base by the time we're done with this. 
Then I'm taking a piece of white, basic white cardstock. And this is not four by five and a quarter. It's actually three and three quarters by five. So it's actually a little bit smaller because it was a piece of scrap that I had. And I'm like, hey, this works. So I'm going to show you. Open my card base. And actually, I like this better. And you can get five out of a sheet with this. So it's just a little bit smaller. All right. I'm going to set. Actually, no, I'm not going to set this aside. I am going to take the speckle, the spackle, the whatever you want to call that stamp there. I already have it mounted on my block, and I'm going to stamp it in Pebbled Path. So it's color on color is what this is known uh, called. Um, so it's Pebbled Path ink on Pebbled Path cardstock. And I'm just randomly going all over the place. That's good. I'm happy with that. Just gives it a little bit of a background. Um, you know, what do you call it? I don't want to say texture. A little oomph. Okay, I'm going to spray with my Stampin' Mist on my Stampin' Scrub, and I'm on the wet side, and then I'm gonna go on the dry side. And then my stamp is all clean. Put this aside. All right, I'm going to put this aside as well. Now I have a lot of cutting to do. So, let me, this actually on page 42 of the mini catalog, it's that card there that we're gonna make. I am actually casing it Exactly. And for those of you who don't know what CASE means, C-A-S-E, it stands for Copy and Share Everything. So if you're wondering, you know, oh, I can't copy Arlena's card, you know, she designed it or she made it, I can't copy it. Oh, heck yeah, girlfriend. You can definitely, definitely copy it. No problems whatsoever. Okay. I have two pieces of designer series paper. Um, this is a half inch by five and a half inches, and this is one and a quarter inch by five and a half inches. I want to take a moment and show you this paper because it is stunning. I've only used a few pieces out of it. But it is beautiful. So there's this little hash, hash, and it's gold foiled. And then on the back, let me show you a bigger piece. Um, so one side has the gold foil on it. This is writing. And then the back side is muted. Then there's this beautiful, beautiful, um, I forget what these are. Um... Totally forgot what kind of flower that is. I know Nancy Jones knows. She'll tell me. So this is gold foil on the, that side, and then it's the pebbled path. I love that. Very great for masculine. Here is gold with just a, a pretty little floral. And then there's the pecan pie and black and white. And then here is like newspaper or script column, column text with gold splatter on it. And it is um, foil. And then on the back is the pebbled path with uh, that same flower. I wonder if it says it on here. No, I don't see it. Then here's another pattern with gold beautiful and then just there's script like 
it's it's rough textured and then splattered with the pebbled path and then here's that here's that piece with that hash and then there's the so you can make a whole card front out of all six of these so this could make six cards hello Dolores good to see you all right, so I wanted to show you this paper because I absolutely do love it. I think it's one that if you don't see it, you will miss it in the catalog. So, and it is a specialty paper because of all the foil on it. And you do get so many pieces. So it is $16.50. But those are the two pieces we're going to use. Set that aside. Now I need to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then my plates. And I'm going to do this piece first. And I'm going to put in like this notebook, uh, like the paper holes um, in there. I'm going to need to take, and the die is, longer than my piece of paper. So I want to center those holes if I can, because I don't want a hole at the bottom. Oh, it just moved on me. Come on. It moved on me again. There we go. Go, Arlena. Well, it's stuck. Thank you, Arlena, for all the lovely cards that you have sent Lyle and I. We both so appreciate you thinking of us. The whole family has been sending us cards for support. Aww. Aww. That makes my heart happy. I want to tell you, you guys. <laughs> I just want to say, I have to show you. I have to show you what we've been doing. And it is crazy nuts. I just got done showing Sue. And I am I'm I'm so happy about it. Let me just set this aside for a minute. This is what we've made so far in my 30 days of life. So for 20 because 23 is not in here. So this is 22 days of projects look at that isn't that amazing and I wonder why I'm so happy right Dolores I'm sorry I'm saying cards man it's Dolores it's never too late and my my thought is keep the cards coming you know if it's you know a couple days later a week later two weeks later a month later because people need to know that you're still thinking about them. Um, you know, the people that grieve, you know, everyone is all, all there for your support, for their, your support. Um, when you first, when, when, you know, someone first passes, but then that life goes on and they get back to their normal routines and you kind of forget that, you know, they're still grieving. So, um, I don't think it's ever too late to send a card, even a year later. I, I think it's, you know, just whenever you, they cross your mind. All right. So now I want, I'm not using that piece yet. I want to use this uh, pecan pie. It's just a scrap. No particular, um, no particular size and I'm gonna make a this is a, a leaf die kind of like um, on a branch so I'm gonna cut a few of those three to be exact but who's exact oh my goodness Stella is in here and she is snoring she's sleeping on the floor and she is snoring she brought my shoe up. She's laying on my shoe. Yep, Nancy, I totally agree. 
Aw, you're welcome, Joanne. How are you doing? Okay, so I can totally relate to Joanne with her, her chest being black and blue. Um, the nurse didn't even have my Band-Aid on yet today. And uh, she said, do you bru bruise easily? I said, no, not usually. She goes, oh, you're already black and blue. I'm like, oh, boy. So that didn't make me happy. And then, well, I won't. <laughs> I won't tell this part of it, but, you know, you can't believe everything you see on TV. You know, when you see a surgery or when they make a cut. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not like that at all. Just to say, just saying. It was pretty scary. I was very nervous. But it all went okay. I just got to heal now and... Okay, so I'm doing these three leaves. Oh, I'm like bending it all up. Okay, come on. All right. I can put that away. And then I need, I need a lot of these, I think. Um... I wonder if this will fit on here. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is a long, long branch of leaves. And I'm cutting them in pebbled path. Boy, this is just going to fit on here. Oh, no, it doesn't want to feed through. Because you got to you gotta get that top plate going through first. And then it grabs it. Okay. So we have one. Oh, that's pretty. I had my card class last night, my monthly card class. That went very well. The ladies did not want to leave. We were having a lot of fun, a lot of creativity. I meant to post pictures. I took pictures and I meant to post them um, yesterday, but uh, I did not get that done, so. Okay, this does not want to feed through. So what I'm going to do, for whatever reason, sometimes I have better luck going through this end. There we go. I don't know what that is. I have no idea why it goes through one end easier than the other. It uh, is totally... Uh, um, Mystery to me. All right. And then we're going to do one more. And now it will go through that end. Go figure. Go figure. I feel like I'm shaking everything. I am shaking everything. Okay. I think that's enough for now. So I'm going to set that aside. And then I also want to stamp on white. Let me cut this off a little bit. It's just a piece of scrap, as you can tell. I'm going to cut... Cut, 
cut it off so it's easier to deal with. I'm going to take this little flower and I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake. And remember how the other night I showed you how crumb cake takes on gold if, uh, if you have gold on your card? So that's what I'm using is crumb cake. I don't know how many of these I need. I guess three. And then I'm going to clean this as well. My pad is already still wet. You don't have to spray it every time. Just spray it when it gets dry. Okay, now I'm going to bring this back in, bring these back over, put my, and then I have a die that will cut those out. And again, you can tape this with washi tape to keep it in place or a post-it note. Anything that won't uh, stick and rip your paper. Beautiful. Nancy, how's Lyle doing? I hope he's doing okay. That one didn't cut out very well, but that's okay. We'll use it anyway. Put that in my magnetic tray. away and put my machine away. All right. Now I want to, um, I'm going to bring my card base back in and I'm going to randomly glue these on here. Okay. All right. I want my glue. And what did I do with it? I had it at class last night. That's right. I'll use the one from my friend, Lisa. It's got this card base. It's from Sweet Petunia. And it has the glue in this bottle with a fine tip. I'm just going to clean that off a little bit. It looks like it built up a little bit. And it sits in there like that. So your glue is always upside down, always at the tip. So that's good. All right. I'm just going to put some glue on here like so maybe down there too like that then i'm going to do one up um because we're going to have pieces 
going through the middle here that you're not going to see if there's these leaves or not. Then I'm going to do the top of this one. And again, I'm just, I'm just using very, very little glue here. I mean, you can see how little that is. All right, then I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to cut right even with the card base. I need to put a little piece of glue there because it's hanging on by a, literally a, just a piece of paper. And then I want to cut this end like so. Then I'm going to use these pieces. And again, I'm just putting a little bit of glue on each leaf. And I am going off on purpose because I want to randomly put this on the card base. All right. I think I might want one here too. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. Right, Amanda? It is so true. 2024 has been quite a year already, and we're not even a third of the way through it. Let me see if I missed any comments. Oh, wow. Yep, I bet he does have lots of appointments. And you're probably going with him. So that makes your schedule busy as well. Okay. So there, that's what we have left of the little strands of leaves. So I'm gonna pitch those. So we have that. So see how that just adds texture? It's so, so pretty, so pretty. Oh, I have a leaf sticking out here on this side. Cut that off. All right. Now I want to take my words and I want to make sure they're right side up. We do not want to put them upside down because you can read this. Well, if you had a magnifying glass or young eyes, you could read it. <laughs> okay. And this is going to go about here. And it does go side to side. Okay. Yay. Then we're going to take, yes, we're going to take the faux ribbon or faux leather. And we are going to, yeah, we're going to feed this through. Yowza. Up. Down, up, just weave it in and out of every hole, okay? And it does feed through pretty well. I'm actually going to go down that one. I'm going to skip that middle hole and come up on the next one. You can do it however you want, though. 
It's your card. You do you. You know what? If I do that, it's going to miss that hole. So no, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So back out of here. So I am going in and out of every hole. I'm not skipping any holes like I just said. Because it won't end up right at the end if you do. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to tie a knot, or attempt to anyway. Not a bow, a knot. So I surprised all of you, didn't I? And you don't want to pull too hard because um, this will stretch, so, and then, you know, rip. All right, set that aside. Then I'm going to put this right over top of it. But because this um, faux leather is kind of thick, I'm going to use dimensionals. So let's see what I got here for dimensionals. that in the middle. Oh, I'm going to have to cut these. I think, oh, I need one more. Where did I see it? Right there. Oh, gotta cut that off. Okay, now I'm going to peel the backings off. And just so you know, I did not make one of these before my video. I did not make one today. So this is the first original, you know, you, yep, all that. Mm. There we go. I didn't have it end to end, so it bothered me. All right, now we want to, I have these three and I have these three, but I want to make the sentiment first because I'm going to put all these pieces around the sentiment. So I have to have that first. So I'm going to emboss because, you know, I don't have enough going on here. We're using all kinds of techniques tonight. So I want to take my embossing buddy. It's like a bowling rosin bag is really what it is. But not just for bowling. It's a rosin bag, which I know it from bowling. So what it does is it gets all the static off of it. And then um, the embossing powder only sticks to where the Versamark is. So I have my little embossing tools, white embossing powder. Um, I think white will go good. And then I'm just going to stamp this up, or ink it up, I should say. 
And this sentiment says, today is all about you. Happy birthday. Yay. I'm going to take my white powder. I hope I'm in the camera here. And just put it on there. Then I'm going to flick the excess off. There we go. It looks beautiful. This can sit. It, everything's fine with that. It, it can sit. It's not going to hurt anything, but just don't touch it because you don't want to wipe that powder off. And then I'm just going to put this back in the little And I'm going to take my brush and just kind of wipe that palette clean. Get all that in there. Put this back on there. It's a little cap. Close this up because when I use my heat gun, I do not want to blow all that all over the place. All right. I'm going to hold this with my reverse tweezers. I have my heat tool, and I'm just going to turn that on, get it warmed up a little bit. And then you're gonna see magic. If you have not seen uh, embossing powder melt, you will now, and you will see it transform into a glossy raised um, texture. And it's just like magic. And there you go. And it is all done. So I can set this aside. And then I want, I want to make like a flag banner, a flag banner, flag ends. So I'm gonna leave a little extra on each end and then I'm going to snip in the middle and I'm just eyeballing it. You guys, I, you know me, I'm not a perfectionist. I don't have to have it perfectly centered, but if you do, um, there are some punches for it. There are dies for it. But to me, that's good enough. It doesn't bother me. And there we go for our banner. Yay! All right, I'm going to bring the card back in. I'm going to flip this over and put on some dimensionals. One, two, three, looks good. And I think I'm going to place it down. I'm not gonna press hard though, in case I have to reposition it, but. Um, just like so. Okay, just not, don't push harder, Lena. All right, and then I want to bring my glue back over. And I want, I'm gonna put glue on the top of this, just a little bit, and I'm gonna slide it under here. Push down and then it picks it up. Actually, I think I'm gonna put some on the underneath side too. Very little, very little. Remember when we use glue, we're not in kindergarten. Just saying. OK. 
Okay. Then I want one sticking up. Just like so. And then I want this one. So, love it. Although it's not sticking on there, huh? I didn't have it in the right place. Just going to hold it there for a second. There we go. And then I need these. And actually, I think I like that. The picture doesn't show the whole piece on there. It just shows a little sprig of this. But I like the whole thing on there. Oh, I do, 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 do like it. I'm just going to hold it for a second. Then I've got pieces down here. I might only need two of these. I'm thinking I only need two. Because, see, they, they cut off, like, just that piece. But I'm going to use the whole kit and caboodle here. I'm just putting a little dot on the back like so, okay? Do not need a lot of glue. Oh, I do like this. This would be a great, well, not just mas masculine card because you could send it to a woman for sure but it would make a great masculine card. Okay, let me move some stuff. Turn this around and show you what we have tonight. Isn't that beautiful? I do like it. I do do... Maybe if I turn it that way, does... You can't really see it in the light. Down. It's really not as dark as it looks like in my in my on my laptop. I don't know if it looks dark on your end, but it definitely is not that dark. Um, thank you, Amanda. Thank you. And you can always, you know, actually, let me do that. Put a little flower in here. Just down here. Just like so. All right. So that's our card for tonight. Day 23 is in the bag. Tomorrow is day 24. And again, I have no idea what I'm going to bring you, but it will be something wonderful, I'm sure. Hello. So um, I hope you have enjoyed these, these uh, lives with me. Um, you can definitely tell that I have enjoyed them. So you guys have a wonderful evening and stay safe, stay warm. The sun is setting, and it looks like there are rain clouds coming in. So I'm glad Randy got the lawn mowed in time. Thank you, Nancy. See you tomorrow. Um, I don't know that I'm working tomorrow. Um, I didn't have anything to do. I guess I better touch base with Rhonda and see. 
All right, you guys take care and have a wonderful evening. Thank you for hanging out with me. And remember, I love you and you take care. Bye-bye.